What's going on guys? Fun with Knives back again and man has it been an exciting week. I got lots of news for you guys. We will get to this package in just a moment uh, but just as a refresher I am still doing my giveaway of this Spyderco Manix 2 Lightweight. I'll be selecting a winner at random this weekend so make sure to check that video out and get entered if you want of course. Um, some other cool things that have been happening. Birdshot4 mentioned me in one of their videos, and whenever that happens, I get a surge of subscribers and, and viewers, and it's awesome. And I can't thank them enough, but I will try. Uh, so thanks again, Birdshot4. Uh, they mentioned my giveaway in one of their videos, said it was really cool. I was just like, man, you know, I'm getting noticed. It's awesome. And it helps a lot that they're one of my personally... Uh, most watched channels you know I watch them all the time they're one of my favorites uh, another cool thing that you guys may or may not have seen is I won a giveaway uh, this is the first giveaway I've ever won on Instagram YouTube anything uh, it was Apostle P's 20,000 subscriber giveaway it was a huge deal uh, he picked three channels that had less than a thousand subscribers uh, to promote basically to win and then two uh, nominators, so how it worked, instead of a, a random drawing, it was you guys that nominated me on that on his video, and I won. I was second place. He even said I had the most votes. I had the most nominations, which just blew me away. Um, he said all sorts of kind things, and I got uh, two SOG knives coming my way in a Benchmade uh, knife case, which is freaking awesome. I mean, it was not just a, a giveaway prize. It was like a whole prize pack. Uh, it was really special to win. Uh, it was crazy to hear my channel's name announced on a, a big channel like that one. Uh, but it was even more special to know that I was nominated to win. It wasn't just at random. It was you guys um, that said, you know, I need more exposure, which is awesome. So thanks, guys, a lot. That was really cool to see. And the real reason for this video is I've entered into my first uh, YouTube collaborative project. Um, seven ready knife reviews if you guys haven't checked him out please do I'll put a link in the description of course I've been subscribed to him for quite a while now I believe he is out of Switzerland where this package is from and he does great stuff he's got lots of content and lots of cool knives I mean his collection is uh, stellar uh, he reached out to me and we were talking a little bit about a knife that he recently acquired which is in this box and he asked, you know, would you want to take a look at this thing, do an overview video on, you know, we can kind of send it out into YouTube land, as Birdshot4 would say. And, you know, we can get some more people's hands on this, uh, get some more exposure and just all kind of help each other's channels out. And I was like, absolutely. I mean, it takes a ton of trust for someone to send their knife and especially a knife this nice to a complete stranger in hopes that they, you know, don't just keep it, which of course I would never do. Um, but this knife is the, the the coolest knife that I've ever had in my possession. Not that it's actually mine, it's just a loner, uh, but this knife is awesome. Trying not to give you everybody's information there. Uh, if you open this up, here we go. It is a Wii knife. Something I was really excited about because I've never messed with a Wii knife, I've never held it. And they got tons of models. They seem to be doing really well as of right now. And the presentation was awesome. As soon as I opened it, of course, I knew what knife was coming. Um, but you get this black box. It's got some of their models and cool lines. Police, military, outdoor, survival, all of it. A couple of things to scan there. Yes, we can. All right. So you take the pouch out of the box. Pretty decent nylon pouch. I've never had a knife come with that. You guys know I'm more on the budget knife thing. WeKnife.com. So let's unzip this thing. And get started so before we get into the knife itself this thing comes with a lot of extras comes with your wheat knife microfiber cloth which is awesome if you got a knife this nice you definitely want to keep it clean got your business card which doubles as your certificate of authenticity for this knife all right um package silica of course extra baggy and this is your tool because this knife does come with proprietary hardware which seems like everyone in the knife world absolutely hates because it's just an inconvenience um, but it's not if they give you the tool for their hardware which makes a whole lot of sense to me so that's pretty cool and let's take this knife out 
Holy crap. Look at this thing. This is the Wii Knife 604. I believe it's I. 604i. Uh, they got tons of models of the 604. It just depends on uh, which blade you get, you know, what coloration, and that letter is going to change in the end. Um, but this thing, as soon as it came out, I saw it on Instagram and things, and I was like, ah, that's pretty freaking cool. You know, I, I wonder if it's, you know, going to live up to all the hype, and I certainly think it does. So I'll give you guys the specs on it real quick, and I'll tell you why I think this is such a badass knife. I mean, other than just its looks. Uh, so let me pull up the specs here. Sorry, guys. Did not really script this video. I'm just kind of talking here. Alrighty, we have a 3.82 inch blade. Your handle length is going to be, let's see here, 5 inches right on the dot. And then your overall length is going to be 8.8 inches. So a very long knife. You can see if I hold it even fairly close, it doesn't even fit in the frame. It doesn't feel like it, but this is a big knife. Now your blade thickness or your blade stock, let me move the light here a little bit is 0.16 inches, so nice thick stocky blade here, and then your handle thickness is 0.57, so a little over half an inch. Um, the weight on this thing is actually really surprising at 4.23 ounces, sorry for this little smudge, I'm going to have to redo this background again, uh, but 4.23 ounces. Uh, that seems a little bit crazy to me based on the size of this knife, the materials it's made out of, and the rigidity that you feel in hand. Because this thing feels solid. So overall, a long, cool-looking, capable, and very high-quality piece at that weight. Blown away. So let's look at the blade here first. You can see two-tone. You got some black coating here. I'm not, I think this is PVD coating on your primary grind. You got it on your swedge. You got it on your spine. And then you also have it down here on the, the bottom of the flipper as well, which is kind of cool. It's a cool way to do a two-tone. And then on your flat, which is fairly skinny, we have a very well-executed satin grind. So cool two-tone two blade here. This is the drop point version. They also have it in a Tonto. The drop point looks really cool. I think it fits the look of the knife. And then you see here we have kind of a weird shape belly here and then a slight recurve right in here. Kind of a unique blade shape. I mean, the whole knife is screaming unique. So I'm glad they didn't throw on some plain old Jane blade shape here. You got a little decorative hole here, and then your only marking is going to be right there. The blade steel is S35VN. We knives are produced in China, but that is an American steel from Crucible. You guys know all about that steel, I'm sure, if you're watching a knife video. What I can tell you about the blade because we're going to call this more of a guest knife overview uh, because I'm not going to use this thing whatsoever. Uh, it's not mine to use and it would be very hard to replace if I used it, you know, and broke it, abused it, you know, anything like that. Um, but this thing is crazy sharp. The grind lines, the coating is near perfect. I mean, and you, you would expect that at this price point, but overall the blade is just gorgeous. It seems functional. It's got a nice robust tip. Uh, this kind of swedge up here doesn't take a whole lot away, leaving you with a robust knife as well as a cool looking one. So the action was something I was very interested in. I knew that the handle scales were going to be amazing, uh, which we'll talk about here in just a moment. But the action is awesome. For how big of a blade, for how long of a blade this is, you would expect uh, this blade to come out very, very slowly with how uh, hefty that blade is. It's riding on ceramic bearings there. And... I love the sound. This has got a unique sound in comparison to a lot of knives I have. It's got a great action. It, it falls shut once you hit that, uh, your, I'm drawing a blank here, guys, your detent ball. You can get see if we get right over that and just fall shut. Perfect blade centering. I mean, the fit and finish on this thing is pretty spectacular. Now, the whole reason we're here is this handle. I mean, this thing is just insane. All titanium, of course. At first, when I got this knife, I'm like, holy crap, is this an integral construction? You know, is this one slab of titanium that they've milled out in all these crazy ways? No, it's not. But it sure look, it looks like it. So this dragon scale machining into this, I really got to give you a close-up on this one. 
looks amazing. The whole thing's nice and contoured. You got no sharp edges. There's your pivot. You got that Wii logo uh, with some purple coloration in there. It looks pretty cool. Contrasts well with the two-tone blade and the titanium handles here. And then here's the spine of it. Closed construction and then you have an integrated lanyard hole there. Here's your backside. Here's your lock bar. This does have a steel lock bar insert so you're having that steel on steel contact held in by that cool star shaped screw and then here's the back side of your pivot more of that purple i mean i wonder how long it takes them to machine that much intricate scale work into titanium i mean it, it cannot be cheap and it cannot you know be a quick process but it sure looks the part and then here's your pocket clip held in by one purple screw you got your wee knife logo on there i love this pocket clip i threw it in the pocket just a couple times it is so slim, it's so simple, and it carries adequately deep. I mean, that all pocket clips should be something like this. I don't like the fat ones. I don't like the ones that, you know, curve a lot. I like simple ones like this um, that someone could honestly mistake for a pen, a flashlight, something like that. You don't want someone to know necessarily that you have this dragon-shaped monster in your pocket. Speaking of the frame lock though, the thing, this thing is hitting pretty early, let's say 30-40%, but the lockup is solid. I was worried about how thin this knife feels in hand that this thing would have a little bit of blade play, uh, but holy crap, this thing is absolutely solid. Give you some more close-ups here. This thing is just a looker, it really is. Now can I tell you that it you know it's an abuser it, it will take all of this this wear and hard cutting I don't know I don't have a whole lot of experience with Wii knives or this knife in particular um, but it sure seems like it it's got high quality steel it's got an all titanium handle uh, very secure lockup it's got hidden hardware I mean so nothing is interrupting this design there's nothing you can't see any screws in this whatsoever other than a pocket clip screw a pivot and a little tiny one holding in a steel lock bar insert so, I mean, this thing looks like an integral dis just uh, construction. It looks um, like a mid-tech, um, but it is a production knife. Uh, now, do I recommend this one? Mm, I don't have enough information to do that. But what I can tell you, this is probably the most unique knife I've ever held. And it was really a pleasure to get my hands on it and feature this, you know, in a video. So, uh, please give 7 Ready. It's uh, the number seven, R-E-D-I, uh, a look on YouTube and Instagram. Um, he's a great guy. He's doing some very quality work, and I'm honored to be in a collaborative project with him and some other YouTubers that you'll see here soon. And <laughs> I'm a little bit frustrated that I do not have any Wii knives in my collection, because after seeing this one, I definitely want one. Because, I mean, if this doesn't remind you of Game of Thrones, I don't know what does. I don't know if they should have called this, you know, the Drogon instead of the 604. I don't know. The Khaleesi, maybe. The Mother of Dragons. I don't know. Uh, but it is damn cool. And I really appreciate uh, getting to take a look at it. So thanks for watching, guys. Got lots of cool stuff coming up. As you heard in the beginning of the video, lots of cool stuff has been happening to me. You know, fun with knives in this channel. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And remember, have fun with your knives.